Hello, hello. We're just gonna wait for a little bit longer. Hello. Hope everyone is feeling well today. I'm so excited to be writing haikus with you all today and be practicing some mindfulness skills. <clears throat> we'll wait for a little bit longer. So this is Artists at Home. We are gonna start the live in a little bit. We'll wait for some people to come on in. Thank you for coming. Thank you for taking the time, especially during a time like this. Um, some of you may not know me, so I'll introduce myself very quickly. Uh, my name is Monique Letamendi, but I am Mo as well. Um, I am the program manager here at ASEP. And um, today we're gonna do a little bit of haiku writing. I'm excited, I'm excited. Um, we're going to talk about what it takes to create a haiku. We're going to talk about all of those great things. We're just waiting for some of us, some people to join. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. Hello. Again, my name is Mo. I think I'm gonna start. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this live and tuning in live for this artist at home class. Um, we here at ASTEP, we bring social, emotional, and mindfulness skills to young people all around the globe. And as teaching artists, we feel it's important for us to know how to practice the skills that we are teaching before we teach them. And so that is what I'm bringing to you today. I'm bringing you um, a little fun mindfulness activity. Um, I'm bringing you a little bit of haiku writing. Maybe we can write some together. That'd be amazing. But also just bringing you a little bit of fun today. Um, please feel free, feel free to um, use this uh, little art activity and change it um, as you see fit. Uh, maybe you want to share it with your students, maybe you want to share it with your friends. Um, it is something that can be done via online, via phone, anything like that. Um, yeah. So um, first things first, I want to try a little bit of a mindfulness exercise that kind of gets all of our body moving yeah i do this with my high school girls i really love this game it's called um or exercise I should say it's called breathe stretch shake let it go right so um i'm gonna be here in this space and so there's gonna be a moment of mindfulness, right? So in my moment of mindfulness, I like to dance, I like to move. You can do whatever it is that you feel like you need to do. Some of my girls, they like to get up and walk around. Um, some of us kind of just like to sway. Other just kind of like to stay in your own little energy and think of uh, being mindful of whatever it is that you wanna be mindful of, which is great. Any of those work for our mindfulness moments. What you need to pay attention for though, is I will be announcing instructions, prompts even, um, on what to do next. So for example, if I say something like, breathe, wherever you are in your mindfulness activity, you're gonna stop, take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale, and then go right back to your mindfulness. I'll say something like, stretch, and when you are in your mindfulness, you're gonna take a moment, and find and stretch whatever it is that needs to be stretched. Maybe you're looking for those, place, those places during your mindfulness, yeah? I'll say something like, uh, shake. And then you're going to take a moment from your mindfulness and you're going to shake. I like to shake my shoulders. That's my favorite thing. I like to shake it until I can't shake it anymore. 
and then I go right back to my mindfulness. But you can pick whatever mo part of your body that needs to shake. Again, that's what your mindfulness uh, moment is for. To really be thinking of our body and really be thinking of what we may need so that when those instructions and those prompts come up, we know exactly where we're going and how, ex and how we're going to do it. Yeah? My favorite, my favorite is letting it go. So in your mindfulness, I'm only going to say that once. And when I say let it go, anything that you feel like you need to release, letting it go is your moment to release anything that doesn't serve you. Anything that may be sitting on your, on your, ch your shoulders, your chest, anything like that needs to be taken off. And so during our let it go, you can do so. Yeah? So let's try it. Let's try it. So I'm just going to sway side to side so that I can see the screen and see all of you lovely people joining. Hello, hello. Hoping that you can join me in this mindfulness activity as well. In your mindfulness moment, maybe it's swing. Maybe you're walking around, anything like that. And then I'll say, breathe. And you're gonna inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. And when you are ready, go right back to your mindfulness. See, I'm swaying back and forth. That works for me. What works for you? Also, in doing the swaying, I'm seeing that I have a little bit of tightness in my back. So then when I say stretch, maybe that's what I'm stretching. Maybe you find some tightness around you. Maybe it's your neck. Maybe it's your back. But taking this moment right now to stretch out whatever needs to be stretched out. And then when you're ready, go right back to your mindfulness. Mindfulness moment is what we're calling it. Mm, my back feels better. I'm glad I did that. So we did breathe. We did stretch. Let's do shake. Hmm. You can get a little. You can get a little funky. You know what I'm saying? You don't get. It doesn't have to be as constricted or anything like that. Just feel free. Just be free and shake it all out. And when you're ready, go right back to your mindfulness moment. And then we're going to do my favorite. Making sure that you're gathering up all that needs to be let go. And now you're going to let it go. Ah. Maybe it was an audible let it go, which is great. Maybe you just let it go physically, which is also awesome, as long as it's off. Awesome. I'm so glad that we could do that together. And now we can get into the meat and potatoes of why we are here today. We are going to be writing haikus. Yay! So for those of us who don't know uh, about haikus, uh, basically it is a poem, a three line mm -hmm. poem, and each of those lines uh, are as such, right? So your first line should be five syllables, your second line should be seven syllables, and your third line should be five syllables as well. So for beginners, we're gonna do a little beginner haiku. And for those of us who are experienced with haikus, please feel free to write whichever one you need. But if you need these tips, please uh, feel free to, to ask any questions in the comment box and I will be happy to answer um, along, uh, throughout the live. But to make it easier, let's think about it in a way of haiku structure, yeah? So if we structure a haiku, an easy way of doing it is your first line could be the setting, right? So the setting, where are you? Where do you want to be? Where is the person that you're talking to? Are you in the same place? How are you talking to them? Yeah. And then your second and your third line should be your subject and action. What are you doing and who is doing it? Right? So um, today I thought that it'd be a really nice way of um, if you all come into the artist meetup on Friday, 
maybe um, we can create some art together and you can come over on Friday to that Zoom link. If you are interested, please feel free <laughs> to um, contact us via DM and um, you can come and share whatever it is that you've written. So the prompt for today that I want to use is um, how, what type of life are you living now? How was your day been today, right? That's the prompt. How was your day been today? Um, all you need is pen and paper. Um, I kind of already written a haiku, um, depending on how my day has been and also um, where or what has happened in my uh, close proximity, yeah? So uh, this is my haiku, and it goes like this. The sun, it still shines. I'm home, taking my time and make plans to see her. So as you can hear, my first line, the sun, it still shines. Um, sort of kind of like setting, I'm in my living room. I was looking out of my window and um, I don't know if I can do this, maybe I can move you. But if you look out my window, it's trees, and it's very sunny outside, so I wanted to, um, I guess, write to the sun really quickly. I wanted to talk to her, and I wanted to also remind myself that even in these times, the sun still shines. That's why I started with the sun, it still shines. And then I went to a, a more of a setting or, or where I am. I'm home, taking my time, and make plans to see her. Um, making plans to see the sun. So um, making plans to see outside again in the near future. Uh, but yeah, I wrote that as a way of, um, yeah, empowering myself to think ahead and think of um, all the beautiful and amazing things that we will all be able to do once this is over, yeah? So um, that's it for my lesson. Um, does anyone have any questions? If you do, please, please, please type it and send it, and then hopefully I can answer. Maybe you have a question about um, what to write about. Maybe you have a question about what type of pen to use. I like to use um, Muji pens, or my favorite pens are uh, my Pentels. Um, pens and paper are really important, I think. Uh, if, if you don't like the way that your pen is writing, um, for me personally, if I don't like the way my pen is writing on the paper, it's difficult for me to, to, um, uh, make things work the way that I want them. So really, really think about that. Really think about, um, your comfort level, maybe not just like in your body, but like your comfort level as it relates to pen and paper, like that it can also, um, I think, uh, affect or positively or negatively the, poetry or haiku writing process. Any other questions? Any questions? Hi, Austin. <laughs> Any questions? So yeah, if there are no questions, please feel free. Again, if you want to learn more about um, our artist meetup, you can definitely hit us up in the DM um, and we can find a way to uh, get in contact with you that way. Um, uh, with the tips and um, I'm hoping that with that all, with this lesson and the tips that I've been given. Um, ooh, okay, Elizabeth. Days are warmer now. Summer is coming so soon. Now I want ice cream. <laughs> Thanks, Lizzie. <laughs> that was so awesome. But yeah, it doesn't have to be as as um as prolific or as substantial as you think or as you may think. It doesn't have to be deep. It could really just be about ice cream. It could really just be about what you want to do today. It could really just be about your day, what you've done. Maybe it's about waking up. Maybe it's about something that you're grateful for. Maybe it's about something that's annoying you. Maybe it's about maybe it's about your apartment wall maybe it's about a light that you can't make work whatever you want to write about it really really it there's the 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 possibilities are endless so really 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 sit down get a pen and paper think about the syllables five seven five and if you make it work you created a haiku <laughs> so um 
I want to say thank you. Thank you for joining me. I want ice cream too. Um, hopefully, I have coconut ice cream. So after this, I'm going to take um, a couple scoops. But before I go, I just want us to breathe really quickly together um, just to solidify the work that we've done. So um, as Lizzie would say, uh, find, use one hand, find your breath, use your other. And, when, and whenever you're ready, you're going to inhale through your nose and out through your mouth. We'll do that two more times. Inhale through your nose. Out through your mouth. Inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, another haiku on the other side. Even thought, even though there is no sun, it is super hot. Hey! <laughs> and on that note, I love you all. I love it, Praveen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Dory. I saw you up in here. Um, and please, if you want to learn more about the opportunities that we have to offer this summer or the opportunities that we have anyway, please hit us up in a DM. Hit us up, um, maybe even comment on one of our pictures or comment here. And um, we'll be with you as soon as we can. Stay safe. Um, stay healthy. And we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>